right here at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris and this is one of our uh, LS based engine packages that we are uh, building right now. 376 cubic inches. Uh, this particular one has a Dart LS3 head on it with six bolts. So we can uh, we could lean on this a little bit harder if we wanted to. 2.9 Whipple. Holly EFI. Our piston and rod camshaft again this is a, uh, a hydraulic roller package uh, one of our street hydraulic rollers uh, in fact this is a street engine um, this is one of our what we're going to be basing as our 900 plus horsepower package uh, hydraulic roller pump gas Whipple 2.9 Holly EFI a uh, bunch of good parts here uh, very happy with this combination um, you see the Innovator West Balancer. We go through and do uh, um, camshaft, timing set, uh, piston, rod, uh, all the valve train. Now this still uses a stock rocker but with the uh, Trunnion upgrade kit that we sell. Now everything that is in this engine is available for sale in kit form or complete. So we can do this in any way that you guys would like. Uh, but anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down, we're going to make a pull on this thing, and I'll go out and I'll show you all the numbers on what this thing can do. Now this also can make, it does actually make a, 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 a thousand horsepower on race gas with a little more timing, but in the 93 octane tune, uh, you know, this is 900 plus horsepower, and we'll show you what the uh, numbers look like uh, after we run it. Right, now we're back outside the dining room after the pull and uh, now keep in mind too this is uh, 376 cubic inches 93 octane and we do have a uh, race gas tune where uh, you know nothing different than just putting some octane in it and uh, just changing the tune up on it so as we go over here and take a look at our numbers you can see this thing makes and for the t-shirt winner also this engine made 900 39 horsepower, 90 or 939.96 horsepower at 6,800 RPM, 834.74 uh, foot pounds of torque. A uh, real nice piece here. Now that is at uh, 13 pounds of boost on 93 octane gas. Um, super good looking piece. Real happy with that. Uh, the Whipple stuff, you know, I, I I really like the way they work and operate and the simplicity of them. Um, we have them here and we have tune-ups available for them so uh, give us a chance at all those parts now let me take a look at over here for just one second you can see that we have a instead of having a, we don't put the heat exchanger in there we just keep water in it uh, and we monitor the temperature water uh, in our little uh, trash can there but uh, anyways let me uh, bring up the file here of uh, the uh, race gas tune now on the race gas tune you can see here uh, now this is just a tune-up difference, same boost, in fact I'll bring up the boost here in just a second, 1,028 horsepower at 6,700 RPM. Nice flat looking curve, lots of torque, um, in fact it uh, sometimes could be even borderline unusable torque down here, but that's alright. Uh, you know, 3,600 RPM, this thing is still making uh, 783 foot-pounds of torque, so 3,700 RPM, this thing makes 800 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, outstanding piece. Um, let me bring up the uh, boost for you so you can take a look at that. And like I said, boost is the same between the two. Now, mine, uh, uh, we're reading just about a pound, uh, almost a pound low, about seven tenths, uh, eight tenths of a pound lower than what the uh, Holly is reading. So uh, we're just a little bit low there, but. Uh, versus the uh, map sensor in the EFI so I will actually go to the map sensor on EFI at 13 PSI but anyways uh, good looking peas congratulations to the guy that uh, clo guessed the closest uh, horsepower at RPM and uh, I'm Steve Morris engines and we are here for all of your uh, LS needs and bigger anyways thank you have a good day